Hey everybody, what's up? This is just gonna be like a quick video here. I'm just watching some chili right now from SML Logan. She's such an amazing person. Um, this is gonna be like a short, a short like vlog. I'm gonna turn this off. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. This is gonna be a short vlog. I'm just giving like a, a little update on the controller that I have. Okay, I dropped it twice. I dropped it like three times. Just letting, oh no, I switched it. And chili back and JJ and Tito. I'm gonna pause this here. Just watching, uh, just watching Po uh, Valky not too long ago. But anyways, back to the video. Okay, so I've had this for a bit now. You can see, like, right there. That's broken. That's broken right there. Like, you can literally see this part, like, coming out a little bit. It's not supposed to flick like that. Only because I believe I pushed this in way too hard. Now, this analog, right, th this analog, the right analog right here, is slightly, it's like, you, f like, it has like a, like that slow, like, rough feel. Like, it's not smooth like this one. I did drop it, and that's why I think it sounds like this. It's still playable. It's still smooth. It's just you feel like it's grinding against something. And overall, I still love this controller. The A button is finally, uh, the A button here is finally getting pushed in a lot more than the other buttons. Like, I don't know if you can see the difference from here, but... Like, the A button is a lot easier to push in now. The Y, the B, and the X button, I uh, still feel like they're brand new. Only because I, I constantly push the A button down when I'm jumping in Overwatch. I've switched up the the outer layer for for the uh, for the analog here. This one gives me a, a wider a wider reach. And this one's a shorter reach. Actually, no, this one's a wider reach. This one is a shorter reach. I kind of put the two on there to try out the combination, and I love it so far. Uh, other than that, the controller is perfectly fine. Everything's just perfectly fine. I'm just literally here just chilling, watching some. Um, chili vlogs just finished watching Valky and I'm giving you guys a review on this controller I still think it's worth the price hopefully they have another controller that I can try out and do another review because I would love to buy another controller from these dudes and we'll see where it goes from there I am gonna have to buy another paddle though like another paddle is needed like 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 I desperately need to buy another paddle like you see that there broken this is finally starting to peel off the the paddles I mean the triggers are perfectly fine they're still perfectly fine because I dropped this, it, it landed on this side. So this side is kind of harder to push in. Only because I dropped it. Other than that, it's still a great controller and I love it. I just need to get this fixed slightly because it still works great. I, 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 I just can't push it on this side for it, to, for it to respond. But if I push it on this side, it's fine. And I have to get a new paddle. That's about it. Other than that, yeah, other than that, like it's literally a great controller. Yeah, I think I'm just going to cut it there. Thank you so much for watching this, dudes. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button if you want to check out my full review of this controller. This is the Power A controller. Just type in Power A controller review. Mocha plays and you can see the whole review that I did on this controller. This is like uh, a next review, but you know, it's some time added to a play duration on this controller. Thank you so much for checking this out. Hit that like button if you like this video. And I'm out. Peace, guys and gals. Bye.